Okay, it's my load from yesterday. It's pretty full. So what I'm gonna do is unload what I can. I might dump that bin today. We'll see if I can throw some some of the smalls from here and there. It was a good good night. Not bad. I know there was a lot of competition last night. Everybody was doing bottles. A lot of guys on bikes and people walking. had no tires and wheels and all of a sudden the last couple days I found four yesterday tires and wheels I kept throwing stuff under my seat, like behind my seat, where I could. I found some corn, cans of corn, and give it to my brother. And I don't know how even how old it is. Two years old. Here's another marble bottle. Okay.
actually a DVD player. So I might want the board. Maybe a little hard to get to, but. Mouse. Recycle day tomorrow, so have to all this cardboard away. Heavy this thing. Steel. wasn't that much glass out there but people taking glass it was so picking was so slim there's guys taking glass too the pickings are good they don't take glass we were taking milk bottles too yesterday everything bins are just nothing of value
think I just got one bottle, one jug. We got three pots total. This side's got lots in this side. I think this is all aluminum. It's like a frame almost. Hmm. It's heavy too. It's a good one actually. About eight pounds or more. Be pretty heavy. Sure. Good. 
like some kind of chopper. You hold on for a second. Ah, it's got aluminum. Surprising. It's a cheap bike. Let me pop that off. Hmm. Hard to believe. These are big ones here. Tito's. Handmade vodka. Hmm. Interesting. So I got about two two tubs of bottles. Such cool looking bottles. I think I have that one already, but I'll double check. On this year. Works. Might as well just take it all. Cycle day tomorrow, anyways. Instead of leaving garbage in the alley, be nice enough to leave it. Got four. We got four of those. They still look pretty good. That's a good, good, um, 100 pounds there anyways, 100 pounds there, counting it all, pretty good. So like I say, it was a pretty good, pretty good night. You know, like I say, it was okay for bottles. It was really good for scrap. I'm not complaining. Just think if I got the scrap, 
but no bottles. The big difference is the bottles are paying for fuel for sure. I think our fuel is coming for sure. Number one mixed in there. I'll take this off here. Good balance too. Oh, heavy. Okay, so let's tie your out. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay. Heavy foil, see that? Okay, hold on. Sure looks like copper. Fine, you got a copper one for change. Finally got a copper one. Copper. Copper, copper. Why that? It's copper. Oh. Copper. That's a lot of copper. It's about three pounds in that one. We're pretty good. Okay, well that's that's a bonus. Like I say sometimes you get lucky, right? And 
they all look like the same vintage, no matter what, you know, like they're not looking like they're super old, they look like any other one, same. This has got a lot of, a lot of switches here, speeds, rinse options, water temperature, wow. I don't know makes a difference in the mortar, but... The mortar right there. Get the mortar off. All the solenoids are below there. I didn't want to go too much. There. It's all the good stuff. Okay, move on. Sometimes the controls are here. This one's all, all, all in there.
Nice piece of brass. Okay, these two are stripped. See, you can see, if you want to know if it's a steel tank, see? Yeah. Sometimes it can be brass, but uh, they're rare, but they're out there. They come that color too. It's a heavy walled tank. It's very heavy. For a small tank, it's very heavy. It means it's heavy gauge. Get two things ready now. Actually, a gross frame. This one. Okay, let me get the right tools for this here. Hold on. Makes a lot of noise, but no action. It's probably tight, but this one's the winner. Usually, we'll see. I always pounded that and it was so hard to get out. It was just plastic. Looks okay. like Avenue's getting a little more money. So I can sell it dirty. Or I could actually clean one side. You know, could do something with it. Bad shots. So awkward. I mean, some guys probably have proper pullers, but I don't. That's my puller. And I could take these off, but then this one's not bad, but here, that's still steel here, right? So that means I have to take, this is pressed in here, I have to cut it. I'm just going to get this thing ready. I can see the right bits here. Not sure where the bit went. Not here. Okay, hold on.
See this thing here? Even just for aluminum, it's still good. Nothing on that side. Nice aluminum. Okay. Throw my garbage. So a few more of these strip out. Kind of stuff I have to catch up on. Hold on for a second. Oh, that's a tight one. She works quicker than that. Let's 
This is a piece of brass. I don't know if I can get that circuit board out. Oh yeah, beautiful board. I knew it was going to be good. Look at that. Isn't that a really nice looking board? stuff on there. It's a good, good old boards. Good old boards with some water in there. I just kind of want this mortar. I was watching Ice Scrap app. He says, "Well, all this type of stuff, like electronics, once you take it out, you, what are you gonna do with it? People don't want to buy it, so you have to mix it with a shred." He says it shouldn't be mixed. Well, they still recover it. Someone's gonna recover it. Maybe not him. Somebody will down the line. Okay, that one's done. See, it's brass. I mean, the plastic is bonded pretty good. We just throw it maybe in dirty. If you take it. That's goose there, but just oh. a plastic Some shred. It's got aluminum there, but. Not that much there. Hold on, there's one of the fans here.
Hopefully it's not frozen. Okay, that one we're going to double check. It's a little bit of aluminum, but not worth putting it in there. It's a little different this one. It's like the one I did last time. It's just doesn't come out that easy. Sometimes they just turn and pop up. This one doesn't. It actually drops down. It actually takes this whole cover off. <coughs> Aluminum, but oh, wrong place. We used to worry about that little bit of wire. There. Copper aluminum mortar is usually in there. Pretty heavy. I think it's well worth stripping. I'll, I'll strip every one I get. Take about the tubes. A little bit greasy, but you know, wire and copper adds up. Okay, I'll strip the next one off camera. It'll charge my battery. Okay, okay I stuck these weights in the paper for 40 bucks. There's like uh, 60, 70 pounds, or three are match, three pairs are matched. The other one is an audible, and someone texts me. I don't know, about an hour after, said they want it, but we'll see. So, got one copper transformer. These ones are aluminum. I stripped them all. All the things are stripped. All my microwaves are gone. Already in a container. So these are aluminum in my hand.
Did a lot of tidying, a lot of cleaning, a lot of sorting. So this is the copper one here. So it's double copper. Uh, probably me, I don't know, a pound and a half probably. Double copper. I'm not sure if I get two pounds of it, probably not, but pound and a half. Okay, I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, it's clean, it's organized pretty good. There's a lot of things I want to strip these things here, and but I got one full bin already, and I got like three micros in the bottom of the other one. That bin is full, I'm not putting no more in that bin, it's so good enough for now. And I have a hot water tank and a, a washer. So this is what I have, three cans full. That's like quite a bit there, it's got to be 70 bucks probably there. That's probably about $15. And this one here, it's probably at least 40 bucks. That's probably about $60, $70, $70 probably $70. There's a lot of small ones in there. So it's a good amount here. This is everything from three days. All this. All this and those two wine. I had uh, a bag that had a few. That was from another, the other one there. So basically most of this was yesterday. I think I got about 80. Almost 80 yesterday. Maybe around 75 or something like that. Wasn't a lot, but hey, what do you do? I like finding these ones here because a lot of times you find about 10 of these. I don't organic something biological, but that's good. They take them, which is nice. Um, and these are the stuff that came out of there. These electric mortars. These are all these sold as electric mortars. I get the same money anyways, no point stripping them. I was going to show you. This one here, I'm going to show you the other fan I did, hood fan, it was a steel, steel body, but it should be copper. I'm going to sell it the way it is. These are all the electric motors. I'm mixing these in there too. Still copper in them. Not that bad. But I'm not going to put a crazy amount in there, but, you know, mix it, mix it up. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.